Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 126 of the Battleship Brawl Season 3 Tournament. This episode we've got the second battle of the TSF by the Butcher, coming up against the new, new challenger, the St. Catherine by Naomides? Naom Niom I think that's how you say that. Close enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this underway, because neither vessel's up for retirement. We'll see how this goes. The Naomides is more like a, a little... It's like a, it's a round ship, almost like a, a floating uh, bunker. We'll see how this goes. With only six guns, it's uh, a little lacking in firepower. We'll see how its uh, armor holds up. I'm assuming that's where all its uh, resources went. Well, those explosive rounds hit and didn't seem to do much of anything, so I would say it's pretty well armored. Looks like they're shaving off the uh, slope blocks, but the uh, the beams underneath are just kind of ignoring the shot. Ooh, that looked like it was a pretty good hit. Oh, no, it didn't quite get deep. Oh, no, it, it did damage one of the barrels there. The guns seem pretty heavy hitting as well. Oh, yeah. Wow. Getting pounded in there. Those shells are getting really deep. Oh, it knocked out the other gun. Like, just each time, they're getting in there and doing some serious damage. This thing is just brute forcing its way through its opponent here. Yeah, that's some. That is some heavy armor there. Impressively heavy armor. TSF seems to be in a little trouble. It's lost half of its armament and can't seem to do much damage to the St. Catherine. Ooh, I think it just landed a shot right on the gun, though. No, no, I thought it did, but it apparently did not. Because if it had hit that turret face, those barrels would be gone. And that turret is completely undamaged. Ooh, right in the turret ring, though. Yep, that'll do some damage. That knocked out one of the barrels. Or at least did some serious damage to the cram. Or the, the uh, gauge increasers. Yep, yeah, it seems to have taken out that turret entirely. Oh, one of the fixed guns just got rocked. Been uh, taken down, it seems. Though the barrels are still kind of floating there connected because the game hasn't realized, oh hey, this isn't connected anymore. I should probably make it fall off. Man, the St. Catherine is just a bruiser. I think it's just taking hits like crazy and dishing the damage right back out. I was, uh, I was kind of expecting the turrets to get hit pretty easily, but it seems like only one of them has actually, uh, actually taken damage so far. those four shells away and like when it when it actually hits where the guns are it just got straight in there and blew these two center guns up no problem granted that was when there were six shells instead of four losing uh, you know a third of your firepower not the best situation I'm just really surprised that the the St. Catherine is taking this many hits and not really having that much of an issue. Like, this thing is a friggin' just block of armor. I imagine most of its armor is on the front, though, and the TSF is getting around to its side now. That could prove to be a problem. Oh, one of the other... There's only one gun left on the team. Oh, well, one and a half... Oh, well, 
Never mind. I was right the first time. There's only one gun left. <laughs> Popped that turret off. That's a lot of hit points lost. And the Catherine is just absorbing those hits. I'm not sure if it's... Is, I would imagine a vessel like this would have all of its armor focused frontally. Maybe a little bit on these sloped parts on the, the front. You know, the, the side portions here. Like right here. But I can't imagine its rear is... Uh, all that heavily armored since this thing is definitely supposed to be fighting its opponents head-on like that much is obvious with how this is set up you can see right there there's firing restrictions in place to keep that from being excessive clipping Well, that was a miss. <laughs> Man, the, the St. Catherine is just eating shells. And it's got a pretty good repair rate, too. Not the fastest we've seen, but it's pretty decent. This is not an easy ship to kill. I'm just really surprised that these turrets haven't been hit more. I don't know if that just has to do with uh, where... I think it does have something to do with where the, um, the TSF has been aiming this whole time. It, it seems really intent on hitting a block in this uh, forward left corner of the St. Catherine. Oh wow, that is a big hole. Is that... Oh wow, it's almost cut in half. There's just these couple of... Is that a single beam down there at the bottom holding the ship together? Wow. Yeah, the TSF is in really bad shape. Its remaining weapons don't seem to be able to outdamage the St. Catherine's repair rate. It's gaining health. But the TSF is not giving up. It has taken a beating and it is still fighting, still operational. But if that one if that one beam falls off, it is it is going to be a one dead ship at that point. Uh oh, those are heading right for the gun. Oh, there it goes. Just like that, the TSF has no weapons and has no hope of winning at this point. I mean, it still has this one fixed gun up here, but it's kind of on the wrong side of the ship. And the AI is not smart enough to turn around to use it. At this point, it's just a matter of waiting for the, uh, the St. Catherine to knock off a few more blocks.
And there it is, the TSF is two damaged and has once more been defeated. It was just not quite, if it, if it was just a little bit faster, it could have gotten around the St. Catherine. And I, I bet you the armor is much weaker back here. Almost guarantee it. But it was not quite fast enough to pull that off and was defeated. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.